kind of spirit will continue on Tuesday. Why? Because it's good for the country, and two, it's good for both of them politically. All right, Tim, nice job. Thanks very much for your help this morning. See you, Matt. We'll see you soon. Once again, here's Katie. Matt, thank you. This battle for the presidency has been a moment in history none of us will ever forget. Now let's take a look back at how we covered the events of these last six weeks. Good morning. We do not have a winner. And that's because the presidential election is still up in the air. Good morning. In the winner-take-all state of Florida, George W. Bush's lead over Al Gore is now 327 votes. It's been six days and counting. And counting and counting and counting. Dade County says no recount by hand. That's a big blow for the Gore campaign. The longest election night in history continues. Election day has become election month, and now it's up to the Florida Supreme Court. Good morning. Al Gore's campaign for the White House is alive. The hand recounts underway in South Florida can continue and the votes will count as long as they're finished by this weekend. The fight goes on in Florida. The Gore campaign is headed back to the Florida Supreme Court and the Bush campaign is headed to the U.S. Supreme Court. Vice President Al Gore is not planning to concede this election anytime soon. Governor George W. Bush says he is the next president. He claimed victory last night and urged Vice President Al Gore to bow out. Vice President Gore asked the public for patience last night, refusing to concede the presidential election. This while Governor Bush continued planning his transition to the White House. Good morning. They may or may not be recounted, but the approximately one million ballots from Palm Beach and Miami-Dade counties are making a move. High drama at the high court. The U.S. Supreme Court enters the Florida presidential war. Time is running out on Al Gore's bid for the presidency. With a strongly worded circuit court ruling against his request for recounts, his legal team is filing an appeal, but it may be too late. All eyes are on the Florida Supreme Court this morning as Al Gore makes what could be his last stand. It's judgment day for Al Gore. Three Florida court decisions that could decide whether he wins or loses the presidency are expected to come today. It's all up to the United States Supreme Court, the highest court in the land. And now we wait. A ruling from the Supreme Court of the United States, a ruling that will determine the disputed presidential election, is expected today. Good morning. Al Gore has not conceded. He's considering his options. And George W. Bush has yet to claim total victory. Finally, a president-elect. George W. Bush will become the 43rd president of the United States. You know what's strange is the month went a lot faster that way. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, I know. that seemed really quick, yeah. didn't it? It wasn't all that bad now that I look back. Five yeah. weeks and what, two minutes? Why three words for the last six weeks? Complicated, unpredictable, and ultimately fascinating to cover, don't you think? No question. A great lesson. It's been fun to be a part of it. And, and I just want to say one thing, and I know this is going to sound like a huge pat on the back to our own staff, but the, the correspondents yeah. who've been out on location and the technical crews and everyone who've been in Austin and Tallahassee. 24-7. I mean, for the longest period of time away from their families. Great job, folks. I'm glad you said that because they were really remarkable. Anyway, that does it for us. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back later. Today is a presentation of NBC News. More Americans watch NBC News than any other news organization in the world. Dateline Friday, one by one. He wasn't breathing. Four young children. She had her eyes rolled back. Fell mysteriously ill. He was blue. With no explanation. Cameron's in the hospital. Just a horrible tragedy? Or was someone to blame? An all-new Dateline Friday, 987.